Hey, good Wednesday morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. We have just about 10 minutes ago a brand new severe weather update from the Storm Prediction Center. That's the NOAA office in Oklahoma that experts, they're the experts on the severe weather forecasting, and they have done a little bit of a modification. We'll get a better modification pinned down late this morning when the runs come in, the new model runs come in. But what they did was they saw, as I'm seeing, the uh, forecasted line of thunderstorms being a little farther, extended a little farther north. So they extended the wind gust potential out of thunderstorms and the hail uh, potential out of thunderstorms northward into the Saginaw Valley area. So I'll show that to you here in just a second. Let's get on into it. In fact, I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is the brand new uh, severe weather outlook. Um, this is the general outlook, and now it encompasses all of the Thumb, Bay City, Midland, down to Kalamazoo, and over uh, into the eastern side of the state. The chance of a tornado has been shifted slightly southeast. So just the Detroit area, Ann Arbor, Monroe, a 5% chance of a tornado, a 2% chance of a tornado from, let's call it uh, Mount Pleasant southward. Okay, But the wind potential is where they kind of moved it northward, encompassed all the thumb and most of the Saginaw Valley area. And that was out of that area previously, but I'll show you the dew points and the moisture expected to make it into uh, the Saginaw Valley. Hey, good morning, Pete Van Alts. And good morning, Vern Fondren. And Derek Kreiderman, thanks for watching. And Robin DeMario, good morning to you. So there's the uh, possibility of a severe wind gust, 15% chance. And then the large hail remains from about Flint to Lansing southward. All right, let's get into it. Radar showing uh, not much. We've had a few showers, a few thunder showers. This is not the severe stuff. The curl to the radar back in western Wisconsin, that's the storm center. Um, and that's where the line of thunderstorms will develop from. Very concrete forecast coming off of the model runs, and you'll see it right here right now. So this is the high resolution rapid refresh model, one I like for this situation. And uh, let's go to 11 o'clock. So we're not getting into the line just yet. Now we're at noon and that line of thunderstorms is starting to develop on the west side of the state. Grand Rapids. You, Grand Rapids, you have the chance of a, a wind burst in some of these thunderstorms. But you probably, fortunately, an hour or two too early in the development of the line. And so um, here is 2 o'clock this afternoon. So there's the line of severe thunderstorms developing uh, Big Rapids to Lansing to Jackson. And here is 3 o'clock, you know, Mount Pleasant to Lansing, approaching Flint, approaching Ann Arbor. And here's 4 o'clock in through Saginaw Bay City, Midland. And into the southeast part of the state. This is a line of storms, but notice their individual cells too. And that is where you can get a couple of tornadoes. So we will definitely be on the lookout for that, especially with the southeast wind that we have this morning. And then we're at 5.30, 6 o'clock, and it's pretty well gone. So this is a 2 in the afternoon to 6 o'clock this evening a uh, line of severe thunderstorms for the southern half of lower Michigan, basically, is the way I would say it. And uh, increasing strength as you go into the east-southeast. Probably peaking from Saginaw, Flint, down I-75 into the Ann Arbor, Detroit area. This is the dew point forecast, okay? And so right now our dew points are low, would not support severe weather. 
But by afternoon, note that the dew points actually get as warm as 60 degrees in Saginaw. So the moisture is going to surge northward. Hey, good morning, John Robert Williams and Stephanie Ann. Moisture is going to surge northward up to you know, about Midland, Mount Pleasant. And a dew point of 60 supports a severe thunderstorm. This is uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Dew point of 61 in Saginaw, 60 in Ann Arbor and Detroit, 62 in Detroit eventually. And then as the cold front moves through, then the dew points and the amount of moisture goes down. Now, these this is a, you know, one hour uh, of thunderstorms. So it'll have to put down a lot of rain in a short time if you're going to get anything you know, really meaningful. And I think what it is is it's a quarter to a half inch rain with streaks in the thunderstorms getting to around an inch. Um, you know, so it's not a widespread heavy rain. Uh, it is a warm rain, so this will wake up the grass in a big hurry. All right, so we've covered the severe weather. Be careful, and I will keep you updated through the afternoon. Now let's go into the longer term. Uh, one thing that's very important for us to talk about uh, at at certain times of the year especially is the models and the deterministic mode versus the ensemble mode. So often I show you the deterministic mode and that is the single best starting and initialization starting elements for the run and then they move it out but it doesn't mean it's always the best so then we go to the ensemble which averages about 50 starting methods and maybe gives us a clearer picture on the average of what's going to happen out in the distance the reason why i say that is the deterministic mode of the european model which we use all the time every day every run says it's going to be a little cool next week and i'll show that to you but when you take that one and put it in with all the ensembles it says that after a cool patch this weekend and maybe monday we gradually warm and become quite warm as we go into the early part of may so let's uh, take a look at that so first we are on the oop, a second here first we're on the deterministic mode of the European okay so here's our storm system coming through today then there's that little secondary cold front with some rain showers becoming you know quick through but cold wet rain showers uh, Thursday night early Friday morning east side of the state and then you notice the blue lines that's the colder air pouring in and then you notice Saturday and you notice that uh, northern Michigan solidly into the blue lines meaning that you could have some snowflakes in Traverse City, Cadillac, Gaylord, Charlevoix, Petoskey, Alpena uh, Saturday morning it looks like and then we go to Sunday a quiet day but still the cool air in place and we rebound as we get into early next week. But this run also wants to bring a secondary little batch of colder air in Wednesday or Thursday before it erodes it away and warms us up. So that's the deterministic mode. Now, this is the high temperature forecast off of the deterministic mode of the European. It will be 65 to 70 in a lot of places today. And then tomorrow, still maybe mid-60s in Ann Arbor and Detroit, then it's 50s in Flint and Saginaw and Bay City and Grand Rapids, then it's 50 as you get way north, and then by Friday it's 40s way north to flirting with 60 way south, and then Saturday's chilly. Saturday is 50 in the far south, but 40s elsewhere and maybe 30s from Traverse City northward in that snow shower activity. Uh, Nick Schweitzer, hey, good morning. Which morning will be the coldest? We'll flip it here in just a second. Nick Schweitzer is a fruit grower. Uh, he's been doing it with his family for a long time, I think over 100 years. Uh, we'll look at that. I would say Sunday morning would be the coldest, Nick, because we'd have a cold Saturday and then dying winds, maybe Monday morning too. So this is Sunday's highs, and then Monday in the low 60s, Tuesday about 60. 
Wednesday and Thursday depends on what the wind direction does with a system. You know, once you get the wind off the water, you're cold. And when you take the wind away, you warm back up. So, you know, cool, but not cold. Now let's go back for the fruit growers and for everybody. The low temperature forecast. Uh, this is Saturday morning. Schweitzer orchards, you're looking at, eh, you're probably 35-ish. Uh, Sunday morning. You're probably 28 to 30. A lot of us are 28 to 30. Monday morning, you're probably 30 to 33 degrees, something like that, and then warming up after that. All right, so now we look at the ensemble mode of the upper levels. Here's our disturbance coming through. There's our cold patch for the weekend. There's the a disturbance way up, almost the you know, polar vortex, if you will, up in the Hudson Bay area. This is Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And then as we get to late next week, Thursday, Friday, the atmosphere expands. We go to warmer than normal, and now we're out to May 1st and May 2nd, and we're a warmer than normal there, too. So a couple of little cool downs, but on average, it looks like we're going to end up uh, warmer than normal, I would say, over the next 10 days. We'll watch the severe weather this afternoon. It's a line of storms developing 1, 2 o'clock uh, around Grand Rapids, moving east across the state in the course of a three or four hour time period. Uh, stay tuned to MLive and we'll keep you updated on that. And if needed, I go live on Facebook here. So thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Bye.